Hi folks, Max from um, GalaxyTabHacks.com. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, upgrade your Clockwork Mod recovery to the latest Twerp recovery. Um, also, uh, how to install a new ROM. Again, uh, first you'll need to download a bunch of files um, depending on uh, if, you're, if you have a P7500 uh, or P7501, that's the 3G version, or if you have a P7510 or T P7511, uh, which is the Wi-Fi version here, go ahead and download the correct twerp recovery. I'll have the links on my site. Um, go ahead and download it and also go ahead and download um, the ROM you want to install. In this example, I'm going to go ahead and install Nameless ROM, which is on the Android 4.4.4 .4 .4 ROM. And also, you'll need uh, Google Apps. I do recommend downloading the Micro OG Apps. I'll have all the links. So once you have this, uh, go ahead and reboot into recovery. Um, you can use the menus, but I'm going to go ahead and hold down, uh, I believe, volume down and power. Is it volume down and power? Or it could be volume up, sorry. <laughs> it's been a while I've messed with this tablet, but um, I'm going to start installing ROMs because I know a lot of you still have it. And with Android, uh, try volume up and power. Ah, try doing that. And we should get into something. All right, it's not working for some reason. I'm gonna try volume down, and just tap the power button if it doesn't work. Ah, I'm gonna have to... Hi, folks! Welcome from GalaxyTabHacks.com. It's been a while that uh, I've updated my Galaxy Tab 10.1 here, but let me go ahead and show you how to do it. Um, You'll, you'll first have to, uh, if you want to upgrade to the latest Android 4.4.4 .4 custom ROM, you'll have to update your clock ROM recovery to the latest version. Um, to do that, you'll have to download the latest, um, actually there's no clock ROM recovery. I do recommend getting the latest Twerp recovery. I'll have the links to it, but I have the Wi-Fi version. Um, it is available for both the 3G and Wi-Fi version. So go ahead and download the Twerp zip file. Um, you can download it straight to your tablet or you can copy it over after downloading it on your computer if you want to. And also go ahead and download the uh, custom ROM you're going to install. I'm going to go ahead and install Nameless ROM here and also download the micro Google Apps. I'll have all the links on my site so check it out. Uh, first we're going to go ahead and boot into the current recovery. Um, to do that uh, you'll need to hold down uh, volume down and the power Volume down on this tablet is actually the button right next to power, so don't get confused. Um, once your tablet turns off, I'll go ahead and down, hold down, volume down, and then the power. Hold them down together until you see the bootloader menus. Um, give it another second or two here. Keep holding. Um, actually, after you see the logo, you're supposed to let go of the power button. Oops, there we go. Let go of the power button when you see the, uh, the logo. Uh, and then when you see this, let go of the, also the volume down. Hit the volume down button again, the, the one next to the power. And then hit volume up and that will select, that will get you into whatever current recovery you have. And if you don't have clock remote recovery 6.0.4.3 or higher, um, you'll definitely have to upgrade. Um, so I have 5.0.4. 5 so I'm going to go ahead and actually install twerp. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Go to zero directory, go down to download. I'm going to go ahead and find the twerp 2710 Wi Fi, uh, which is the correct version for my tablet here. Um, this will actually work for um, the Wi Fi versions of Tap 10.1. Um, go ahead and select it, and we're going to go ahead and install. And I forgot to mention um, for most of the new ROMs, you'll have to do a factory reset. So do make a backup using Titanium Backup app before trying this. Uh, because we'll be doing a factory reset. So I'm going to do wipe data factory reset. Oh, sorry. Don't do that yet. Go to advance and reboot recovery. All right. This will reboot you into the new tour recovery you just installed. Uh, once you install it once, you should be all good to go. And you can use this to install future uh, custom Android 4.4.4 ROMs. Now, it's going to be very exciting. The reason why I'm doing this is Android 4.4.4 improves upon the performance of your Tab 10.1, a huge deal. That's why I'm updating and it. it's going to make this tablet usable again, um, you know, at just as fast as some of the newer tablets. Next, we're going to go ahead and hit wipe, a swipe to uh, do a factory reset. This will erase your settings and apps and app data. 
go ahead and go to install. Um, go ahead and find the nameless file, uh, the ROM zip file. I'm going to go ahead and install that. And that will install the ROM. Um, so this is going to be very exciting because I've been using uh, still CM 10.2. Uh, for a long long time actually I haven't used this tablet because I totally forgot about it it was just lost somewhere in my uh, junk and I finally cleaned up my my office here anyway it's gonna be exciting everything's gonna run fast and uh, you know I'm actually using my note 10.1 as my um, a viewer live viewer for my Canon camera um, but this will replace it since you know it's an older tablet and I would like to actually make use of my note 10.1 um, you know it's gonna be nice so this should take another five minutes or so uh, when it's done we're gonna go ahead and install micro G apps um, Google Apps to get Play Store reboot and we should be done and for future custom ROMs you can go ahead and just simply reboot into recovery and install ROM um, that's pretty much it now you should be able to install all the KitKat ROMs and let me go to home here install uh, I'm going to go ahead and install the Micro 4.4.4 G apps, Google Apps. If you don't install this, you don't get a uh, Play Store. A lot of people don't read instructions on my site. I have it clearly. Download Google Apps, install. Uh, some people don't read that, and I don't know why they keep asking me. But I still help them. Uh, but it is very annoying. You should uh, read through the site before asking questions. Um, you know, that way I have more time to answer questions. Anyway, uh, it is almost done, and uh, we're going to go ahead and reboot and make sure it runs on the latest Android 4.4.4 KitKat, and it's definitely going to make my uh, Tab 10.1 new again. Um, and that's pretty much it. And right now, I, I'm not supporting Tab 2 or Tab 3 just because Samsung's making way too many tablets. I'm going to have, you know, a ton of tablets. Uh, if I do that, so I'm sticking with phones right now. But uh, what I'm doing is now I'm gonna. Um, I bought the smart watches, uh, the Android Wear, the latest LG and the Samsung watches. So I might focus on that because I see that as the future. I'm always, you know, looking for something that's that's coming up. Um, you know, that's why I stuck with Android. Uh, I've had my first smartphone was actually a Palm Pre. I never bought an iPhone. I always, I never liked Mac. Um, you know, there's always Mac and PC, so uh, f f I've never used, you know, uh, Mac or any Apple products in my whole life. <laughs> I just simply hate it. When I was nine, uh, my dad told me he'll buy me a Mac or, uh, you know, 386-25DX uh, computer. I went with the latter, and uh, that's how I started with computers. Um, you know, I just never liked it. I mean, the graphic GUI was really cool, but I was always into like, you know, coding and stuff. I thought it was really cool with IBM's compatibles. You can actually, you know, um, hack the code or, you know, make your own programs, uh, C++. Um, you can kind of do that with Macs back then, uh, but more or less they, they had this all this software. It was all, you know, it was just more closed source. It wasn't like hackable. Um, so that is the reason why I've always stuck with something that's more hackable. And Android was the perfect choice because I was, you know, just getting into... Uh, actually, when I graduated college, I took this class called Minix. It teaches you about how uh, Linux came to be about. And then, back then, Linux wasn't big. It was just kind of starting to get into the main mass media. And I realized that... Um, one day Linux open source will take over the world. I didn't know what it was going to be, but I told my dad 10, uh, almost 15 years ago that, or is that 15? Well, whenever I graduated from college, um, I think it was about 10 years ago, that uh, I told my dad, one day you're going to see you know, everyone carrying a device uh, carrying Linux. And uh, my prediction actually came right. It didn't actually take that long. Um, Android is based off a fork of uh, Linux, so that's why I really love Android because you know it's keeping everything open source. Uh, uh, yuck, yuck. Um, hopefully that I don't like those uh, fork closes. But if it only happens once, you're good. But if it happens again, what you can do is go ahead and go into Torp. 
um, go into wipe, go to advanced wipe, and uh, wipe slash sys uh, the system partition and reinstall ROM, and everything should work. Uh, but I'm not getting the force errors. One thing you should check is the keyboard. If the keyboard force closes, you're screwed. Um, but it's working, yes. I just got to connect to the internet. Everything should be working now. Um, there we have it. I've got uh, nameless ROM, but it does seem a little bit laggy, and I don't like that. Uh, the first thing you can do is go hit the build number. Um, usually the performance menus will come out if you do that. There's no performance menus here. Um, any, anyway, um, this is not going over. Well, let's go over the ROM real quick. No. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and s try some other ROMs also. Um, I think you do need to overclock it because, as you can see, it's sort of laggy. But it could be because I just, just now, this is very laggy. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and find another ROM or another kernel that will work with it so I can overclock it. But 4.4.4. Should have improved performance quite a bit, but I'm not seeing it right now. Uh, anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. That was how to install KitKat ROMs on your uh, Galaxy Tab 10.1. And uh, I should have a ROM by end of the today or tomorrow. Uh, and I will see you guys soon. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxytabhacks.com for more ROM of the Week cool stuff. And I will see you guys soon. Um, yeah. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.